just to swing around the uh, system. Nice and clean. I think I need to, there's some fingerprints on the front. But that'll be all cleaned up and wiped off. This is a uh, magnetic. The radiator and everything. All nicely taken care of. Here is information on the the contents of the system from uh, Bellarc Advisor. Uh, it's got Windows 10 Professional version 20H2 on it, and that is uh, active. This has uh, on the uh, Asus Prime 3Z390 motherboard. It's got an i7-8700K. Currently, this is not overclocked, but it can be, and I've had it up to 5.0. Uh, you have to have good cooling, which we do have on this. Uh, and then, of course, we have it's uh, you know up to 12 uh, threads on there total. The uh, four hard drives. There's the uh, base drive, 480 gigabyte uh, NVMe on the motherboard, and then I have a four terabyte drive as a uh, storage drive or whatever you want to do with it. I have a Samsung uh, SSD one terabyte drive and then I also have a Western Digital 600 gigabyte uh, Velociraptor uh, super fast drive you can see they're all in good shape smart status they're all healthy no issues there and then the memory is uh, 16 gigabytes and again that's the uh, um, Giel memory 2133 at 15 15 15 is the cast latency and timing um, these drives will be cleaned off so you will have most everything available it looks like <laughs> there's really nothing on the uh, the big drive not much on the uh, SSD and hardly anything on the uh, West the uh, Western digital Velociraptor the only one that's got anything much on it looks like it's the OS drive Again, I'll clean everything else off here and just have all the required drivers on it. Uh, I don't believe this system has, this only has an Ethernet connection. It does not have any uh, Wi-Fi built into it. So there is no, um, no, none of that going on here. You'll have to install your own. All right. but that'll be your limiting factor otherwise this system is great for gaming or anything you want to do with it you just need to add a graphics card if you're gonna if you're going to use it for a uh, a gaming rig or even a you could use it for a streaming rig uh, that's what i used it for as well i gamed on it and i also use it as a streaming system any questions please by all means ask me and uh happy bidding all right, guys, I am going to go under the hood here and give you a closer look at um, the pieces in the system. Those are a couple of, I don't know if you can see them, are uh, Giel. Uh, they're 16 gigabytes of white Giel memory. They are 2133, uh, you know, DDR4, uh, with cast latency of 15, 15, 15, 36. So that's the Giel. And then underneath that plate, I do have an NVMe uh, drive. And so I'm going to remove the cover here so you can uh, see uh, which model it is uh, if I didn't remove the label. Because in order to uh, get good heat dissip dissipation on some of these, it's best to remove the label that's on it. But I'll show you, or I probably already have shown you in the lead up to this, uh, the size of the drive and who makes it and all that. But uh, give me one second, I'll be right back with that. So it is a 480 gigabyte um, PCIe 3.0 uh, NVMe um, uh, drive there. So that is uh, looks like it's yep 480 gigabytes. 
and uh, there is a thermal pad on that piece to keep it nice and cool and luckily I didn't remove the label so we can see what it is all right and the cooler is I believe this is an H100 Corsair but don't quote me on that um, it works great uh, it is set up for you know 210 120 millimeter fans uh, but I've replaced the Corsair ones with thermal take ones and these are RGB uh, ring plus so that with the software you can configure them and uh, and I will have turned on the system you'll see all of the uh, the great stuff you can do you just have to um, use the uh, thermal tank uh, software for that there was a remote I think that came with it and that's what that little white dongle was the infrared remote but I don't believe I have that so I'll just tuck that out of the way and if you get one you can use it but I'll have it out of the way so but it's not affecting anything but anyway um, so yeah that is it there is there are uh, five fans in this and two on the front for intake and then two on the top to exhaust and one in the back to exhaust out of the case so that's the flow we got good positive pressure in there you will have to install your own graphics card I did have I think there was a 370 3070 Ti in here that was sold long gone uh, this does have an integrated GPU so the system that you saw running in the uh, screen in the video before this uh, is just the onboard uh, graphics but this is a super powerful machine all right so here's a shot of the um, with the back of the case the cover removed you can see all that nice fancy methodical dressing of the cables that I did and tell you this is a small this fractal de fractal design case is small and compact and tight but I loved it it is a fit wherever I needed to it's easy to take anywhere if I was going to family we were gonna do any gaming or anything but anyway so more about the uh, system you can see I have a uh, EVGA 850 G3 drive in there so plenty of power this is a thermal take controller uh, to control all of the uh, lighting the RGB in here uh, there are um, you saw the Three, uh, two fans in the front, two in the top, one in the back. They're all RGB uh, Ring Plus 12 fans. And, and then there's also a, an RGB strip in the front uh, bottom of the unit. So that takes care of all of the uh, RGB and the fan control as well for the thermal take fans. Um, from a drive perspective, in addition to the 480 gigabyte um, NVMe drive that's on the motherboard, it has 600 gigabyte of a Western Digital Velociraptor drive right there and then a one terabyte Samsung Evo SSD and then down here is a four terabyte HGS uh, T uh, drive so basically the way I did it is my operating system only was on the NVMe drives and then uh, I would put my games on the Samsung one terabyte drive and then I would have like other applications and stuff on this Western Digital Drive. I think I might have had a video editing program on here. So it's that fast. The the Evo could do it too, but I was filling up my my game drive. And then since I also I did some video editing on this for um, uh, streaming, I would record onto the uh, HDSE the four terabyte drive. So basically, that's how I had this configured. I am selling the system with all of those drives in it. They will all be cleaned off, so there'll be nothing on those drives, and you can use them however you desire. So that is the uh, back side of this. I hope you appreciate all the hard work I did in getting these cables dressed. And the only place to stuff anything extra is in here. So if you do decide to take any of this apart and sell it and break it down or whatever or, or use this, these cases are so compact, but I got all of it to fit and work just fine. So... Um, I think that's it on this side. Okay, so I get a shot of this uh, finishing up the single core test. See where it wound up. Pretty decent uh, score there. 
and I'm going to run it now with the uh, multi-core. See how fast that goes. So this has been run been running continuous for about eight minutes, I think. It's on its last pass right now. Okay, so we should get our final score after this. There we go. An 86.52 score. So, uh, right up there with a, an AMD 1700, an Intel 9880, and just above some Xeons. So, anyway, just thought... And maybe it'd be helpful for you guys to see this again. It, I ran it about eight minutes under a single core and eight minutes at the multi core, no issues, of course. Here is it in a. This, I'm in a, my studio in the basement here, so that's what it looks like w with still some lighting in the room. There is some uh, overhead lights here. And, uh, but let me uh, turn that all off and then you can see what it looks like. All right, this is with all lights off in the room, and uh, except for the monitor, the display, I do have other systems shining some light, but this is a, a view of the way I have it configured. Now, I will be removing all the software off of this system, uh, and but I will, I plan to just leave the windows activated, so I'm going to remove everything. I will reinstall the Thermaltake software and have uh, I think this basic lighting configuration set up so um, anyway just wanted to give you a shot of it so you can see the RGB strip I have down in the bottom it's all nicely lit up and I think that's all I'll try to clean the glass off so uh, there's no smudges oh and I forgot to mention there are the two power connections from the PCIe for your graphics card so they are wired, ready to go. Again, I had a uh, 3070 Ti in here, but uh, don't anymore. So you can just fit your graphics card in there, and it'll take up to two 8-pin PCIe power connectors.